This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's New Product Rundown features Edwards Royal Class MiG-21, Rye Field Models Sturm Tiger, and Dora Wings Percival Vega Gull. New Product Rundown brought to you by Hobby Zone USA, your source for hobby storage solutions, hard to find hobby tools, and aftermarket modeling needs. Welcome to New Product Rundown, Fine Scale Modeler's twice monthly assessment of some cool new kits. I'm Aaron Skinner. And I'm Elizabeth Nash. What's our first kit? Well, having bracketed this subject in 1 to 144 and 148 scales, Edward has now released the MiG-21 in 172nd. And typical of the Czech manufacturer, there are several boxings planned, including the Premier Royal class we have here. Yeah, and this is a dual combo, so you get two full kits of the MiG-21 MF, the modernized export version of the MiG-21 that first flew in 1969. In addition to two sets of plastic, the kit doubles up on photo etch parts, uh, resin details, pre-cut masks, and includes a lot of marking options. So let's see what's inside. The major airframe parts, such as the fuselage, feature extraordinarily fine recessed panel lines, hatch out lines, and uber petite rivets. Be careful, the two sprues with the majority of the airframe parts look identical, but they are different. So pay attention to which version you're building to get the right parts. The large cutout in the belly of the fuselage accommodates the lower wing section with the brake points on natural seams. The upper wing sections have a wraparound leading edge that avoids ugly, hard to fill seams on the thin parts. On the inside is the roof of the main wheel well. The vertical stabilizer is molded with the distinctive avionic spine, which leaves a fine mold seam to remove rather than a long join to eliminate. The horizontal stabilators are single parts with thin leading and trailing edges, as well as fine tip anti-flutter weights. The ventral fin and exhaust surround finish the fighter's basic body. The ailerons and flaps are separate. Edwards Smart Engineering shows in the nose cone. An internal ring supports it so it can be added after painting. The lip of the intake is a separate single part. The cockpit floor gets detailed with side panels and optional consoles with molded or photo etch controls. Clear instrument panels provide a similar option. Other cockpit detail includes front and rear bulkheads, pedals, control stick and throttle, and a multi-part ejection seat. There's plenty of detail in the jet pipe, and nozzle, and in the nose, and main wheel wells. The landing gear looks fine, and the wheels feature separate tires. Optional parts allow the speed brake to be posed open or closed. Optional radio bottles are also provided. The clear parts include optional opening sections, unused windshields, HUD glass, and lights. Pre-cut masks make painting easy. This Royal Class kit provides beautifully cast resin replacements for the wheels and ejection seats. Pre-colored photo etch has panels, seat belts, and D-rings, as well as antennas and probes. Underwing stores include 800 and 490 liter fuel tanks, RS-2 US, R-3 and R-13 air-to-air missiles, as well as S-24 rockets, UB-16 and UB-32 rocket pods, and 100 and 250 pound bombs. The variety of marking options, 12 in all, on the beautifully printed decal sheet is a testament to how widely used the MiG-21 is. There are two Czech and two Indian fighters, as well as Bulgarian, Soviet, Angolan, Iraqi, German, Slovakian, Polish, and Libyan birds. Almost all offer color. And last but not least, there's a color print of an Iraqi fighter downing an Iranian F-4 that would look right good above your workbench. There's a ton of stuff in Edwards Royal Class MiG-21, and I'm sure that 172nd scale builders will appreciate the chance to add it to their collection. Rye Field Models follows up its Tiger 1s with a 135th scale Sturm Tiger based on the same hull. Despite only 19 having been produced in World War II, the Sturm Morser Wagen 6064 MIT 38 cm RW61, to use its proper designation, is a popular modeling subject. Including boxings from Tamiya, Ravel, Italeri, Zvezda, Testers, and AFV Club. The last includes an interior as an add on set. Echoing its initial Tiger I, Ryfield includes an interior in the box. The heavy lower hull has hatches, cut marks, and weld seams outside, and inside there are housings for the torsion bars. Much of the running gear is common to Ryfield's other Tigers, including the torsion bars with integral road wheel arms, the road wheels, idlers, and drive sprockets, Maybach V12 engine, transmission, firewall, cooling system, and fuel tanks. The tracks come as individual links with separate guide horns. Pins attached to handles for assembly may leave the tracks flexible. A multi-part jig should help assembly. The bulk of the casemate is a single part with subtle texture on the flat plates and ventilators. Separate internal plates for the sides, rear, and front reflect the massive armor used to build the Sturm Tiger. The roof is molded clear to give the option of showing the fighting compartment. It's free of blemishes. Also on the clear sprue are periscopes and lights. 
Optional gun barrels are provided, but only one is called for in the instructions. Three styles of venting are given for the muzzle. The rest of the gun is sandwiched into the massive mantlet. A photo etch sleeve provides rifling. Inside is the breech with a separate multi-part door. Elevation controls, hatches, and a machine gun finish the front plate. The rest of the fighting compartment comprises a floor with molded diamond plate, a movable loading cradle for the massive rounds which consist of cylinders and heads. Racks secure the 12 rounds in the casemate. Parts of the engine deck can be posed open to reveal the power plant, and the fenders and side skirts are molded in sections. Photo etch brass provides framework for the belly, engine screens, handles, straps, clasps, supports, and even seat springs. A tiny cartograph decal sheet provides stripes and stencils for the rounds. There are also dials and four small Balkan croys, although the three options in the instructions don't use them. There's a lot in the box and it looks like a fun build with lots of opportunity for display and dioramas. Finally, here's something cool and different from Dora Wings, a 172nd scale Percival Vega Gull. The British four-seat touring aircraft first flew in 1935, and many participated in air races and record attempts in the late 1930s. Many were impressed into military service in World War II. The small fuselage is broken into a belly and sides. Fine recessed panel lines mark the surfaces, and there's a well-executed piano hinge on the cowl. The stretch fabric on the wings is supple and effective. Cockpit detail comprises a floor curved for the wing spar, back wall, firewall, pilot seats, and rear passenger bench, and an instrument panel that gets photo etch dials and controls. The rudder, elevators, and ailerons are separate. The nose traps a keeper for optional props with two types of spinner. Nicely molded wheels are sandwiched by the spats. The clear parts give the large canopy and the opening sections are separate. Landing lights are also provided. Pre-cut masks make painting the complex framing easy. A small photo etch prep provides external and internal details. Decals provide markings for four noteworthy gulls including Beryl Markham's transatlantic aircraft, the winner of the 1936 Schlesinger race, Lady Sherborne's Gull from the 1952 King's Cup race, and one flown by Alex Henshaw at Cyprus in 1938. Those are some colorful options for a pretty little civil plane. You can read how it, as well as the Sturm Tiger and MiG-21 go together in upcoming issues of Fine Scale Modeler magazine. And you can see more new products in the September issue on sale now. Also on sale now is this spiffy tie I'm wearing. You can find it at ComebackHobbyStore.com. We know you have a lot of choices when deciding where to get your new modeling information, so thank you for choosing FineScale.com. I'm Elizabeth Nash. Hey, can I get some peanuts? Absolutely not. Hi, I'm Aaron Skinner. We'll see you next time. The small fuselage is broken into a belly and a belly. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. I know what I was trying to do. Good. Somebody did.